Friends, the time has come. It's now time for you and me to work together to architect the next expression of United Methodism. The future of the United Methodist Church hinges on our ability to deeply pray that God will give us the strength and the courage to do what we must, what we have been called to do all along. I believe it hinges on the faith that Paul talked about in Ephesians when he proclaimed that God at work in us is able to achieve abundantly far more than any of us can ever ask or imagine. What do you say we reclaim, revive, and renew our beloved connection together? It's time for us to reclaim this church. We have an opportunity to reclaim our identity, who we are as United Methodists. Personally, I became a Methodist because this grace thing worked for me. When life was rough and times were uncertain, there was a refuge from the storm at a place called Calvary United Methodist Church in Moundsville, West Virginia. That was my home church. That place did an excellent job of confirming faith as something that I could embrace as my own. The concepts, do no harm, do good, stay in love with God. They were simple enough that even the son of a blue-collar worker from Appalachia could understand them and live them. Within the community of the church, I found unity around the essentials of grace, hope, joy, love, and justice. I learned to be open enough to listen to the viewpoints of others and give people freedom to celebrate the gifts that God gave to them, and most of all, to love in all things. Friends, this is the basis of our own reclamation project, to find a renewed sense of call, to seek a new conversion of our spirit, to get out of our churches and into our communities, to preach and teach and heal and comfort the afflicted, to confront the injustices of our day, and be willing to stand anywhere necessary to share with everyone that they are welcome, and to look at what the good news of God's love really means in life. It's time to revive this church. What do you say we give new energy and passion to the ministry of making disciples for Jesus Christ? Let's revive our belief, our sense of expectancy, and our eagerness for the blessing of the Holy Spirit to guide our steps. Let's once again get curious about the mysterious work of God in our midst. And let's love coming to church again and make absolutely sure that when people pass by our buildings, they will know that inside those walls are people who absolutely love God and genuinely love every soul as a part of God's creation. Let's offer our radical love, genuine hospitality, and sincere engagement. When's the last time you invited someone to go to church with you? Invited them to go because you believed enough in what was happening there that you couldn't contain yourself. Whether it's a refuge from the storm, warm clothes, an open and welcome table, or a soul-stirring worship service, ministry is always about building relationships, and it's always about taking someone along with you on the journey toward Christ-like holiness. It's time for us to renew this church. Recently, our focus hasn't always been trained on the call that God has placed on us. What do you say we sign up again for a lifelong commitment to ministry? The missional work we have before us is absolutely vital. The world needs us. So let's renew our response. You and I, we share a story. I have always believed that United Methodists have the most relevant theology for a broken world. I believe that now more than I ever have. What we have must be passed on with purpose and conviction. Our ministries, our faith in Christ, our presence in communities around the world. These are vibrant, life-giving, transformative opportunities to make this world a better place. The place that God envisioned for all of us. A place where everyone can thrive. As we look forward, as we architect our next steps together, let us give thanks for our shared values, our shared calling, 
and our beautiful, diverse connection, a connection that enables us to reach out and proclaim the love of God in every corner of the world. Friends, it's time. Won't you join me and millions of your fellow United Methodists across the world as we reclaim, revive, and renew the United Methodist Church? Let's keep this story alive. Let's make it vibrant for today, tomorrow, and always. May it be so. Oh, God in heaven, may it be so. Amen. <laughs>